One more loss, and Detroit is done. But does that dampen the spirit of Detroit? Does it matter to them that only two teams in World Series history have ever come back from that kind of deficit? If two did, why can't another? So tune up that Tiger enthusiasm. Hang up those Tiger signs. Let's hear those Tiger cheers. Get out those Tiger hats. Let's never forget that cats eat birds, that it's far from over, that Detroit will never say die. And so it's game number five. Will the series end here or go back to St. Louis? Michigan Governor George Romney still hopes for a Detroit miracle. So does American League President Joe Cronin and Tiger President John Fetzer and Hall of Famer Goose Goslin. Mickey Lolich, who owns the one Tiger victory, is Mayo Smith's choice to keep the Tigers alive. It doesn't look good as Brock again leads off with a solid hit, a double down the left field line. More bad news as Flood and Cepeda await their turn. Kurt rams a single to right, and the flying Brock scores easily. Now it's Flood who's threatening to steal. Cepeda the batter. There he goes. And Flood swipes second. And if that isn't bad enough, Cepeda has still another jolt for the tottering Tigers. He sends a high drive to left. It's his second home run of the series, and the Cardinals are quickly in front of Lowley's three to nothing. In the third inning, St. Louis bids for more. Brock leads off in his devastating fashion as he singles for his 10th series hit. He now has a chance to break his own all-time base stealing record. But this time, the Tigers are ready with a pitch out, and Brock is flagged down. Nelson Bryles carries his 3-0 lead into the fourth when Stanley rips one down the right side for a triple. All of a sudden, there's a ray of sunshine. There's hope. Suddenly, it's fun again to be a Tiger fan. One out later, Norm Cash flies to Brock and left. Stanley tags up. The peg is slightly off, and Mickey slides over safely to make it 3-1 to one St. Louis. Now it's up to Willie Horton to keep things going, and Willie does just that. He belts the drive in the right center alley. Blood handles the ball well, but Horton shows he can move a lot better than people think. Jim Northrup's up. Looks like an easy chance for second baseman Javier. Look at that bad hop. And scoring is Horton. It's a 3-2 ball game now. And that's how it is in the Cardinal fifth when two key plays turn the series around. First with one out, Lou Brock gets his 11th base hit of the series. Horton made a good play on the rebound to hold Brock to a double. How important this is for Lolich and the Tigers soon becomes apparent. Javier is the batter. Brock has a short lead at second. Stanley's been ducking behind him. Horton gets set in left. Javier singles sharply to left field and Brock heads home. The throw to freehand is perfect and plate of Doug Harvey calls Brock out. Let's take another look in slow motion. Look at Prian's left leg blocking the plate. This could be the crucial play of this 1968 World Series. The Cardinals fail to score in the fifth. So it's still 3-2, St. Louis leading, as Tiger manager Mayo Smith makes a crucial decision and lets Mickey Lolich bat for himself in the last of the seventh with one out. 
He floops one to right. Ron Davis just missed with a diving catch. And Mayo Smith's gamble is paid off. Dick McAuliffe comes up to bat against a new Cardinal pitcher. Riles has been relieved by Joe Horner, who saved the third game for St. Louis. With one out, McAuliffe slaps the grounder through the right side. And the Tigers now have two men on base. The pressure increases on Horner when he walks Mickey Stanley to load the bases. And this brings up a veteran player of 16 seasons. Detroit sentimental favorite Al Kaline playing in his first World Series. With one out and his team trailing by one run, he's the man on the spot. The count's one and one, and Kaline loops a hit into right center. In comes Lowich and McCullough with a tying and lead run. It's four to three, Detroit. Kaline is having a great series. It, it sends the goose pimples off my back, and uh, it was a tremendous thrill to think that I was able to uh, do something for the fans after all these years. Norm Cash up next, and he'd like to buy some insurance. With two men on base, Norm slaps it through the right side. The Tigers now lead five to three as Stanley crosses the plate. As the Tigers take the field for the top of the ninth, it is now up to Mickey Lolich to try and protect the two-run lead. When McCarver leads off the ninth with a single, Cardinal manager Red Shandings sends up his best pinch hitters to try and win the series. Ed Spezio, after fouling off eight pitches, singles to left. And now the tying runs are on base for St. Louis. With just one out, Roger Maris can put it away for good with a home run. And Maris has been known to hit quite a few. Lou Brock's on deck. But Lolich never wavers. He strikes Maris out. One out to go. And Brock the batter. Even the bullpen tensely watches. Lou tries to check his swing. But Lolich has him. And the Tigers win 5-3. to three And send the series back to St. Louis. For hero Lolich, a standing ovation. And a kiss for daddy.